Hi, Shana Soni here. This video is about recent discovery that Michio Kaku mentioned in his YouTube video regarding the AI and the quantum computing, proves the quantum being work, proves that observation affects momentum. However, it actually proves that when you start entangling, quantum entangling with the at the cosmic level using quantum computers, then what are the possibilities of the interaction? What are the possibilities that those interaction can become invocation? Uh, what are the possibilities that the, that the key can become the code? What is the possibility that the interface can become an implant? That was highlighted by the video, uh, Michio Kaku, um, comprehensively explained how NASA Voyager 1 probe basically made them, uh, when they were analyzing the data, they found out an image that was autonomously generated by the Sysomore X chip that wasn't just interacting at the visual level, it was going at the consciousness level, affecting the, the people, the scientists who looked at the image, affecting them at the level where they actually started seeing the universe uh, the way it's meant to be, <laughs> actually, the, the way we actually are. They started seeing that how alive the universe is and how the interaction is invocation, basically, and it is ontol ontological. And uh, how this recursive self-perpetuating interface affects us at the biological level and how something like that proves uh, time is not linear, uh, partly because they found out that the image was autonomously generated before the quantum computer processor was turned on uh, based on the data embedded in the firmware. So all of that basically proves to us that, wow, this means that when we turn on quantum computer, then we are going to start seeing, uh, basically start proving everything that the ancient wisdom talked about because consciousness is fundamental. And that's pretty much what this experiment proves. And uh, a couple of the things that I thought was very interesting is uh, when it was mentioned about the image, and it said that the image was a tall um, light beam in the, in the black background. And uh, it also highlighted the fact that it was um, had it was layered with the prime numbers and sick and sacred geometrical patterns. So all of that to me is like wow. These are all just proving how everything is converging in our life. And uh, one of the thing about the Sysmor X chip is that when it's exposed to enough entropy, it can restructure its logic sequence, which is a very peculiar behavior. And that is basically means that it can actually cause some, some uh, realization that is beyond space and time because the Sysomor X chip was actually built to analyze the space-time signal compression in the radio wave eco anomaly. It's architecture including self-modifying quantum gates. So based on that data and based on the behavior that it exhibit, which actually is very similar to how our our DNA works, right? So there's all these um, entanglement going on just with this one experiment where Voyager 1, uh, analysis of Voyager 1 image ended up making us understand how everything is entangled, how everything converges, and how cause is effect, and how time is nonlinear, and how quantum physics principle is pretty much at play in our lives and how the quantum being book can help you, guide you in the best way so you can truly understand that everything in the world is a mirror image of us. And we are not just observing, we are interacting, we are invocating, we are affecting, and we are moving at the subatomic level as we are dancing with life. So I will put the link down for you to watch the whole video if you like, but this has been a great find and I'm very excited about sharing that how 
it's all coming uh, to the zero point energy. Have a wonderful day. Bye.